Hello, good morning. I'm Reverend Susie. I'm interim priest in charge at St John's Macclesfield and St Thomas Hembury and Broken Cross. Welcome to the Vicarage on Willock Lane, Macclesfield. It's my great pleasure to welcome you and to say to you, Happy Christmas. If any of you have been following the travels of Mary and Joseph and the donkey around the parishes over the time of Advent and have seen the photographs on our newsletters or on the Facebook page, you'll notice they're here now in the stable and of course the baby has arrived. I thought you'd like to see them all here with the shepherds as well, of course. Um, clearly the wise men aren't here just yet, as some of you will know. More of that in the new year. So as I say, it's my great pleasure to welcome you and to say Happy Christmas. I'd just like to read from John's Gospel this morning and have a, a short time of prayer. This reading is from John 1, chapter 1, verse 1 to 14. <laughs> John 1, 1 to 14, just to clarify. John unfolds the great mystery of the incarnation, that is, Jesus being born as the Son of God and coming to live among us. So John 1, 1 to 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. A light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God. Who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And we'll have a short time of prayer this morning, so... I invite you to pray with me now. Lord Jesus, before whom the Magi laid their gifts, whom humble shepherds worshipped, accept our praises as we celebrate your birth at Bethlehem. We ask that as we make this a holy day, on which to remember your birth on earth, so our hearts would be illuminated with the brightness of your one true light. Jesus Christ our Lord, born in us this day. We remember those for whom Christmas will be difficult, particularly this year. Lord Jesus, you were laid in a humble manger because there was no room for you in the inn. 
Have mercy, we pray, on all who cannot share in happiness this Christmas time. We are mindful of the poor and the hungry, the sick and those separated from the ones they love. In your love, we ask you to guard, guide and comfort those for whom we pray this Christmas morning. Prince of Peace, born among us, as we share together the most profound mystery of your birth. So we pray that you would fill us with your peace, pour into our hearts that peace which we so desperately seek and which you alone can give. May we live as children of the same Heavenly Father, willing to share our love for you and also to listen to the faith of others. Awaken in our hearts love and gratitude for all that you have done for us. And may our hearts share in the message of the angels to all humankind. And we offer up our prayers in Jesus' precious name. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. and a blessing. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you. Scatter the darkness from before your path and make you ready to meet him when he comes to you in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Now unto the King Eternal, Immortal, Invisible, the only wise God, be honour and glory for ever and ever. Amen. I'd like to wish you and those you love a very happy Christmas and a blessed New Year from me and from my Greyhound Seamus. I thought he might have put in an appearance particularly with these being around, he usually knocks them over. But um, he's somewhere, probably asleep. But uh, happy Christmas to you and those you love, from me and Seamus. Take care and bye for now.